going to be looking at introducing the plantation preacher. Wow. Now, the Israelites and oppressed people in the Bible represents the plight and experience of African Americans and African slaves. And we begin to see them in captivity. The plantation preacher is going to begin to reveal how so many preachers are preaching for the oppressor that keeps the system maintained of slavery versus the liberation of its people. What would you say about this, Prophet Joshua? You know, Master Prophet, I can't prophesy against Pharaoh while still being on Pharaoh's payroll. And so when I am a liberator, Master Prophet, that means that I'm willing to speak truth to power, uh, that I'm not uh, taking the what's being offered from Pharaoh's table, but I'm speaking what thus saith the Lord, Master Prophet. And so therefore plantation owners study and knew the best way to keep the slave system in place. And so the plantation preacher in a lot of ways was used to maintain that order. In this book and in this work, it will cause you to distinguish in the community who is the plantation preacher and who is the preacher that's going to bring about liberation. And I'll tell you something, you're going to be blessed by the teachings that are in that work. Another book is going to be the prophetic blessing. And as great as the concept of being blessed is our culture, it is freely given and received by those who do not believe in God. If you search the hashtag, hashtag blessed on social media, you will be confronted with a sea of content featuring the word. People are not afraid to declare they are blessed. They just don't. They just don't know how to say it. And so therefore, we're going to be teaching you about the prophetic blessing and what it is and what it is not. And in the prophetic blessing, you will begin to learn about the money blessing. Do you not know that when God blesses you, he increases you, not only spiritually and mentally, but financially and physically? What would you say about the necessity of the blessing in the life of the believer? You know, it's, it's, it's quintessential, Master Prophet. It's so important that the blessing rest. And, and you know, it, one of the things that I'm reminded of is the first time God says blessing in the Bible, he begins to let Abraham know what he's going to do, that I'm going to make you a great nation, that all nations on the earth are going to call you blessed, and I'm going to make your name great, Master Prophet. So when we are blessed, when God has given us the money blessing, Master Prophet, that means that God has given us access to infinite wealth. Amen. You know, we got the wind chimes sounding in the background, and I love it, because every time the wind happens, you also get a sound that accompanies it. You know, and even in the upper room, they heard the sound of a mighty rushing wind. And with that sound came the gift of tongues. Yes, Master. Amen. When the wind shows up, there's a sound that accompanies. So guess what? The next book is entitled, But God. But God. You know, this but God is a phrase that is a conjunction, but God. And in a term that connects other words and phrases. So when we've used that word but, it negates what is before it. You know, I was sick, but God. Deep in sin, but God. Tragedy was headed my direction, but God. I was in pain, but God. What do you think about this whole concept of but God? You know, Master Prophet, it begins to point out that God is ever present, Master Prophet, in our present, in our futures, Master Prophet, that I know my condition looks one way, but I know God's covenant says another, Master Prophet. And so therefore, but is usually between two sentences or two phrases or two worlds. And when we begin to explain this book in the blessing plan, but God, you're going to learn how to negate what does not work and activate what does. Amen. In this 
work. We have a textbook and a workbook that's getting ready to be released. So we got the plantation preaching, the prophetic blessing, but God. But here is a workbook and a textbook, the prophetic Kairos and Kronos. Now, the ebb and flow of time are both under God's control. God is the only place from which we may gain knowledge about the happening in our lives right now and make predictions about the future. And oftentimes when the prophets are prophesying, you sometimes are looking for the chronos and God is speaking in the realm of Kairos. What would you like to say about this whole idea of time? Because see, one is chronological and another is a season. Yes, and yes, Dr. Bernard Jordan. You know, um, it reminds me of something that the Word of God says, that there's a time and a season for everything under the sun. And so, you know, Master Prophet, when we think about the Word of the Lord, it's really a Kairos uh, moment, Master Prophet. It is a moment that God has spoken to us for a particular season. And versus a a chronos word, which is a chronological word, a word that is more linear, Master Prophet. And so when we look at God's timing and God's word, we love the fact, Master Prophet, that he moves in seasons, Master Prophet, times and spaces. Yes. And so therefore, I don't want you to miss the season, the time, and the spaces. So the prophetic blessing, but God, the plantation preacher, Kairos Kronos, wow. amen, understanding the season. This is going to help you to understand your prophetic word that you might be looking at a chronological fulfillment when God really wants to get you seasoned for the fitness. Some of us, like Israel was told about the promised land. That's right. They could have made it in 40 days, but it took them 40 years to get Kairos ready. That's right. For the season of the promise. Although the Kronos could happen in 40 days, but a lot of people don't want to do the Kairos work in order to get the Kronos effect. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? You know, Master Prophet, it's so powerful uh, when we think about it, Master Prophet, because it was, I was reminded, I believe it's in Genesis 15, that God speaks to Abraham and he lets him know that uh, you shall be afflicted um, in a land that is not your own for 400 years. And it's interesting that the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness literally for a tithe of that. And so you see that there is a Kairos moment in that, that God had a particular season, though it was only a 40 day journey, God had a particular season that they were to enter in. And you know, it's so powerful, Master Prophet, that there's not just a textbook, but there's a workbook, Master Prophet, yes. for the prophetic Kairos and Kronos that we can actually work our lives, work our prophecies through Master Prophet to walk into our divine season. Amen. And I want you to get ready to walk into your season. So the blessing plan, the amount is on the screen. You need to go ahead and be a part of the prophetic master prophet's blessing plan. And that's if you want to get a future. Now, listen, we are in a recession and people that have joined the mastermind, which is another extension of the blessing plan, that if you want you to do the blessing plan, we'll upgrade you into a mastermind, which is a whole nother world. But we have just cited recently when the master prophet's in the Master Prophet Blessing Plan, when this recession would be over. And we saw some dates. This is why you want to be connected, because you'll get strategy on how to invest. I want to talk to you today about the future that is calling you, the future that is pulling you. Call the number on the screen right now 
and get on the list to be a part of the blessing plan. We want to get these books into your life. We want to get the profits in your life. Plus, they get coaching online, don't yes, they? Yes, they do, Dr. Bernard Jordan. Coaching that is available only for those that are a part of the Master Profits Blessing Plan. You want to call the number on your screen today. Speak with one of the live moderators. Sign yourself up. Sign your whole family up, amen, to be a part of the Master Profits Blessing Plan. You don't want to miss this advantage, this opportunity, amen, to be blessed, Master Prophet. And when you miss your day of visitation, you live in the valley of regret. I'll see you in the prophetic blessing plan today. Peace. just shared during the interlude, there's no reason why you should not be a part of Master Prophet's Blessing Plan number 13 unless you make an articulated choice not to be a part. And that would be very, very interesting, especially if you say that the Master Prophet... I love it. We doing a remix. We got the remix going on. Something, something happened. We, we, Y'all heard that? That was good. That was a remix. That was a remix of what I was saying, so that you had heard the musical bed underneath. That was just fly. That was, that was a remix. You know, we may go to the Love Records and, you know, put it out there and something like that. But as we were saying, in regards to what you just saw as um, our bishop-elect, who is um, assisting our Dr. E. Bernard Jordan in that, during that time of the break, there's no reason why, especially if you're under the sound of our voice, you claim to be a partner with us here at Zoe Ministries, or if you say that the Dr. E. Bernard Jordan is your spiritual father, he's your supervising priest, which we're about to talk about the Taruma. If you're saying all these things out of your mouth, then remember, actions speak louder than words. I'll say this again. Actions speak louder than words. Obedience is always better than sacrifice. Oh, well, you know, I'm going to give that sacrificial thing. Were you obedient to the fact that, did you register for Blessing Plan 13? And if the answer is no, then you're being disobedient. Especially if you're a member of POEM, or if you're a longtime member with us, or if you're someone who um, has been with us for a while, you understand the Master Prophet always over delivers. There's a possibility that, you know, winter session of Prophet Kaji may be someplace warm. You never know. See what I'm saying? It may be someplace warm, but you won't be able to partake because you're not part of the blessing plan. Then we'll, you know, we'll send you a link, and if we out there getting tans or you know, in some some nice little Bermuda shorts, while we, you know, under 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 some starry skies in the evening time and some some nice, you know, equator type sun during the day. And you're sitting there, how come I'm not to be a part? Or if your friends say, wait a minute, I thought you said you were with Zoe Ministries. How come you're not there? Well, you know, you know, and then uh, now you start creating the story. You start creating this narrative that hopefully you can either quell or move into a different narrative. There's always an, an opportunity to position yourself away from a story that does not work for you. So once again, we have sh shared previously before the break how to get your ways and your, your finances in and we will uh, move towards how you can get your first fruits offering. Yes, our supervising priest, we give honor to whom honor is due. I'll say this again. We always give honor to whom honor is due. And I remember yesterday, the master prophet did an impromptu. He jumped in the clubhouse real quick. It was in the middle of the afternoon, and I, I got the text message, master prophet's on clubhouse, master prophet's on clubhouse. I jumped in, was able to hear him share about the Taruma, and it's so readily important in these days and times, as we can see what stuff is going on from a geopolitical standpoint, or we can even see what's going on here in our very country. You know, people who feel that, you know, they have a particular vibration and how they are expressing themselves. But if you don't have any counteractivity towards that, then whoever has the loudest voice or the most finances 
can usually get their message out. So when you recognize, as we saw by the tremendous success of America's Black Prophet, Volume 1, or Part 1, which was the beginning of the story of our Dr. E. Bernard Jordan, you were able to get a glimpse into some of the thoughts and some of the ways that have developed our Dr. Jordan to this point now. Now, as we get into Part 2, 3, 4, you're going to see some more stories, more individuals. There's plenty of testimonies out there. There's plenty of testimonies that people are starting to tape right now and that we're taping professionally to make sure that we can reshare it with you right out of those individuals' mouths, because why? There is power in the realm of prophecy. So when it comes to our first fruits offering, the Teruma seed, we know our foundational scripture is Ezekiel chapter 44 and verse number 30. Once again, that is Ezekiel 44 and verse number 30. And you can read into even to verse 31 as well. But the base scripture is Ezekiel chapter 44 and verse number 30, where we recognize that we are to give our first fruits offering and those oblations that are due the priest, we should make sure that we render unto your supervising priest, the person who is speaking upon your behalf, the one that's covering you spiritually, the one that's helping you develop within the respective community that you have. And if you notice, most communities where the priests are taken care of, Nine times out of ten, well, no, no, I, that, that would be that's too low of a number. That's only ninety percent. I would say ninety-nine point nine percent of the time, those communities are blessed. So as we've noticed here since March two thousand and nineteen, that we have been utilizing the Teruma seed. It's been a blessing here for all of us who have entertained and moved in it. Some people do it daily. Some people do it as soon as they get their seed. They make sure they take that two point five percent out. And also, I will invite you, as I'm talking about that 2.5%, if you don't have the Taruma app, download it to your phone. I don't understand why you don't, especially if you're a member here. Taruma app, regardless of whatever you, you phone that you utilize, you can go to your respective app store and just type in this word, T-A-R-U-M-A-H, Taruma, T-A-R-U-M-A-H. And you're going to see that app pop up, click it, download it, and plus, even within the app, if you know that you're one of those individuals that love to show the double honesty, you can click a button right inside the app and it will process your double honor or at least calculate for you what a double honor seed would be based upon your income level. Amen and amen. So once again, amen. So remember, the Taruma seed is vitally important for it to have a successful life, a successful experience in your worlds. And remember, you can do it in these various ways. You can do it via Zelle, which means you're allowing yourself to connect your bank account with the Master Prophet. And if you add the Master Prophet as a contact on Zelle via his email, which is bishopjordan at zoeministries.com. So once again, if you're doing it via Zelle, which means that you are dealing with a 21st century bank, you can do it utilizing the Master Prophet's email at bishopjordan at zoeministries.com. Now, we can go to the Venmo application. The Venmo app is one of the ways I love to sow my Taruma seed, and that is V-E-N-M-O. That, once again, that is V-E-N, as in Nancy, M as in Mary, and the letter O. Venmo. And once you have that app downloaded to your phone, you can add the Master Prophet as a contact at, via his name, which is Bernard-Jordan-4. the number four. Once again, that is bernard dash Jordan dash the number four and that will allow you to directly send your Taruma seed or your double honor seed or your Methuselah seed or maybe you want to make sure the master prophet has some gas money during these times where these these numbers are a little bit elevated whatever you do that is a blessing as you continue to sow your um, Taruma seed towards your presiding priest and that's via the Venmo app then you can do it via PayPal Wait a minute, if you do it via PayPal, which is especially great for those individuals who are international partners, that means this is a way to get your house the blessing bestowed upon it that the supervising priest gives by receiving and acknowledging your seed. So if you're doing it via PayPal, you can once again utilize the Master Prophet's email, which is bishopjordan at zoeministries.com if you're doing it via PayPal. Once again, his email address is bishopjordan at zoeministries.com. Now we make it to the cash app. Yes, 
We have two ways for you to do so. We have the legacy option and the direct option. You do the legacy way, that means you will sow it by our first lady, and she will acknowledge and share exactly who it is that, that is rendering the Taruma seed to the master prophet. And so you can get that blessing bestowed upon you. And her cash app is dollar sign prophetess Deborah, and Deborah is spelled D E B R A. And that's if you wish to do it via the legacy option. Then we have the direct option. And the master prophet was under next to me right now. He would say, the greatest, the most eloquent, the highest level type of cash app handle that a, that a archbishop could ever have. And it was simply is dollar sign my archbishop. So that means if you saw it directly to the master prophet, you're pinging his phone directly. You're seeing those things. He, he, can, he can be sitting somewhere. He can be riding in his car, and all of a sudden he sees that ping. He can look at the phone and say, oh, look at that. God bless that person. And even though he's going to acknowledge you, either if it's a conference call or one of the um, virtual services, he'll make sure that he, he knows that he's going to acknowledge the fact that you're taking the time to sow your seed. And that is dollar sign, my archbishop, if you're doing it via Cash App. So wait a minute. So we have Cash App. We got PayPal. We got Venmo, and we got Zelle. And you say, Prophet Clark, I don't use any of those. Well, you still have one other option. That means you can turn around and utilize the partner care line. Now, the only thing that we request is, make sure that your Taruma seat is at least $10 or more, and make sure when you speak to the moderator that you're acknowledging and letting them know that it's the Taruma seat because the moderator understands whoever's assisting you is going to put that to the side. That's not going into the belly of the ministry. No, that goes into the belly of your supervising priest. You want the priest. The priest can bestow the blessing. The building cannot. So make sure that it's at least $10 or more, and make sure that you allow yourself the understanding to share with the moderator that it is the Taruma seed, and you can call 888-831-831. 0434. Once again, your Taruma seat of $10 or more can be done directly by calling the partner care line at 888-831-0434. Amen and amen. So you start getting, if you haven't done so, I know tonight is a Friday night. You know, there was a song, you know, Friday night, just got paid. Now you got paid. Make sure before you start doing anything, just make, before you do anything now, I want you out there, you know, trying to get some, some jumpsuits and, and, and dancing around and, and, and getting your, your kicks on without saying, wait a minute, let me put my 2.5% on the side. Let me get my tithe out the way. Make sure I get all this stuff out the way first so you can rock out with the 87.5%. But, you know, you made sure you, you knocked out the 2.5%. You made sure, <laughs> you made sure you know, that's a 2.5%. I love my wife's facial expressions. This is so funny. It is beautiful. And so make sure that first things first. You know, we're having, a, we're having a great time, but eloquently, even from a spiritual aspect and foundation, make sure that you do your first things first and make sure that you take care of your supervising priest when it comes to recognizing him in regards to the Taruma seat. Amen and amen. Well, before I start getting the company of prophets, it is my honor to enter. It's honor. I'm going to say honor. See, I'm going to say that honor. You know what I'm saying? This is a young power couple. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, boo boo. They were on the road. Hey, hey, boo. You know, the red carpet specialist. That's what I'm calling them, boo. <laughs> the new Zoe Entertainment tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Lord. Come on. In the power couple of our very own Bishop elect Joshua Nathaniel Jordan and his first lady, Lady Minister Jessica Jordan. Let's get some hands up for that. How are y'all doing tonight? God bless you, family. God bless you. God bless you. Hi, Cheryl. How are you doing? <laughs> right. <laughs> that part. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's funny, Prophet Jessica, you asked. Mike, my, 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 my mic is on. My mic is on. Mic is on. My, yeah. Oh, it's on now? Oh. Okay. So, it's funny you asked, because... 
the other day when I and I y'all all laughed for my response. <laughs> I told my clock. I said I had to go back and listen to how I said it. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> I have to brace myself these days for Prophet Clark. Oh, you have to brace yourself. That's. Wow. I'm looking forward to, you know. You know, I was, I, I don't know if I'm looking forward to. No, I'm looking forward. I'm concerned to this. I'm concerned about the evolution. I, this is, is there something that looks like wow. that happens over time? I love it. Yeah, he just walks in the house, walks around. Now, the children, so we have the two youngest one in the house now, so he's kind of reserved a little, a tad. And we had a, the, the, you know, thank God. So, a scotch? The, a scotch, but, um. The other day we had a meeting with the prophets on the call, and it was a Zoom meeting. <laughs> oh dear! Oh, the Zoom. Okay. And um, so you know, Zoom, you can see each other. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I noticed that Prophet Clark just had his name. I should have left it like that. So they were like, oh, "Oh, Prophet Clark, you're back! Oh, Prophet Clark, you're back! Prophet Clark, you're back!" I said, oh, Prophet Clark, they want to see you. <laughs> yes, Lord. Oh, no. Come on. I said, oh, my God. He came with no shirt, oh. nothing. I was just like, turn off your camera. <laughs> Come on. I said, what is wrong with you? Come I said, just turn off your camera. Yes, and he Lord. Has, he has no, now these are, Come these, on, these, I, I don't Come understand. On, I, we should, I was just, I was, uh, oh, wow. I was I had an orange shirt on. I was completely the same color as that orange shirt. Oh, come on. Wow. And he was just like, yes, hi, people of God. How you doing? Hey, hey. Nothing. Come on now. Wow. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Well, Nothing. Well, Nothing. And I'm no, like, she, 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 didn't, she wasn't going to dare me to say up because I stand up. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 All right, well, you know. If you <laughs> have their number, people got to make sure you don't FaceTime or video call. <laughs> Morning, it. it sounds like what? Oh, so yeah. they're just like, hello. So yes. Yeah, so to answer your question, I'm I'm well. I'm doing fine. Mm. Uh, I'm adjusting to Prophet Clark. Um, new, n no, no. He, you have no no hesitation. In, in is, no, no, not at all. No. I'm looking. I mean, I have many years. You do you have? Do you have? Do you like clothes? Job, Prophet Joshua. You saying I don't like clothes? I like clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so I mean just seriously. Like, do, like but you, what, you like to, you prefer clothes and not clothes. Like right now, because Prophet Clark was very reserved. I don't know <laughs> what <laughs> happened. What? And so there's something transformationally that happened. Empty nesters. Yeah, maybe it, maybe it's the empty nester thing. Empty nesters. So he just he just well, you know, he's free. That would make sense though that as we get into like new phases of our life, that we show Very like true. I guess different versions or phases of ourselves. This is a new like, version. This is interesting. So that's where the new versions go. And here I thought it was like, more reading or you know just uh, but apparently. There's other branches that it Yeah, can there are. Of course. As we get it. older, you know, we get refined, we get better. I, I never call anyone old. We're all getting refined. We're, That's I, good. There's no old people. Or you're only as old as how you feel. And when people start walking around talking about, I feel old. So no, no, no. See, that started internally with inside of you. You mm. feel as young as you wish to be. Now, it's not that you try to run out there like I think some of our kids are going to a concert today. You know, we, we, we yeah, we we would look kind of weird being at that concert. No, we wouldn't. I would go right up in the Chris Brown concert. You would go to the Chris Brown concert? Oh, yes, I you would. would. You would? Yes. Oh, excuse me. I, okay, I remember that next time. You want to go to little Uzi Vert? Because I think that's what some of the young people in there are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. You know what I'm saying? They want some the baby and all that other good stuff. Somewhere. No, I saw, a, what, what is it called? Something Kid. There's a lot of kids out there. There's a lot of kids. There's a lot of littles and a lot of kids. There's a lot, a lot of, of littles and a oh, lot of kids. K That's spell K-I-D-Z? Yeah, I feel like you're still going to find some kids. <laughs> <laughs> Wiz kids, that's what it's called? Yeah, there is a Wiz kid. There's a Wiz kid. There's a Wiz kid. Does he have tats? At the end of him, he's just Does he have guy. tats on his face? I don't, I don't know. know. No, no, there's a bunch. Oh, there's a bunch of other kids though with tats. Okay, there's a bunch of littles with tats on their faces. Never mind. Never mind. I don't know, it's a complicated world out there with the littles and the kids and the Wizzes. Um, but this is excellent. I'm so glad to be here. Friday night. I'm so night. glad to Friday be here. Friday night with it, the people of God. Yes, and it's our first time back on yes. the Yay! Yes. Welcome yes. home! Yes. the home 
forefront. That's and you right. know, it was so amazing though, being on the road, taking yes, the sacred was. guests on the road. That yeah. was, um, it was really exciting. Um, but it was also great as we got to be in person with a lot of the prophets. Yes, yeah, you got to meet a lot of the right. prophets, a lot of the partners. Yes, yeah, saw some partners face to face that I've only heard your voice. We got to saw fellowship. Your name and I get to, I got to find out what everybody likes from Starbucks. Oh, yes. yes. There, were, there were some of the you partners know, and that. the oh, prophets that never had, you know, they didn't know what, what you know what they wanted from Starbucks. And, you know, it was kind of like prophetic ordering for them. Mm. You know, Prophet Joshua, I'm, you know, we're sitting here, you don't know, but Prophet Joshua does have a gift. I am very picky, and everything Prophet Joshua has brought in here for a Starbucks. You better come on with you, thank you. Yes, uh -oh. absolutely. Uh -oh. I, poetry I, night. As soon as I am <laughs> poetry night. <laughs> he is. He is. Yeah, Prophet Joshua, you have a gift. Yes, it was a blessing. No, you have a gift. I would absolutely a say it's a gift. You know, I tell people, listen, coffee is one of Prophet Joshua's love languages. Mm. You know, allow him to love on you with some coffee. He did. I've seen people go, no, thank you. And when I tell you, he's been, no, no, please have please it. Please have it. <laughs> I mean, I, I said, no, I'm one of those. No, no, yeah. I don't, no, thank you. And he's like, Prophet is Cheryl. I want you to taste it. And then I said, okay, because I'm very, I'm, I'm one of those picky eaters. I eat the same thing I do. Everybody knows me here. <laughs> Uh -oh. Everybody knows me. Uh -oh. So I just have my same things that I eat every day. <laughs> and legs will rag on me all day long. But yeah, so Prophet Joshua, you do have a gift. It was amazing. And we were able to meet with all of the partners, yes. many of the partners that were there. Um, my God, it was Pleasure to see Dr. Darby. We, we yes. met her and her daughter. Was oh, there. really? Yes, my God, my yes, God. We met Dr. Teresa and Jeter. Dr. Yes. Jeter. Yes. Oh, Bishop Williams and her whole church, yes. right? Yes. Bishop. Oh, my God, yes. And the so church awesome. came out. That was a blessing. We met um, of the Apostle Watsons. We met. Oh, yes. Sure oh, came. yes. And oh, the Henrys God. as well. And the Henry. I mean, yes. it was. It was family. It was really I mean, lovely. it was great. We all was ate. Uh, people saying, you know, Prop Josh, I'm all right. I'm like, come on. on. I mean, it was piling grits and salmon and waffles. Oh, yes. oh we it had really a great time. I well. mean, but, that's... but it was nice to fellowship with everyone, yeah. to eat with everyone, to be able to prophesy, to be able to just speak, to be able to even be at the sacred desk with people yeah. who we generally don't get to do that with. So it was awesome. It was you know, an amazing time. And so what's so awesome is that's what this community makes possible. You know, yeah. it makes taking this whole thing on the road possible, makes being with the partners possible. It was really, it was an excellent time. I was honored to be a part. So glad that I was able to come on the trip and just experience. You were missed, Prophet Bishop. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. But you had Prophet Clark there. Too. You know, and <laughs> he does hold the space. Just he come on. It. He holds it, and when I appear, he lets everybody know. <laughs> <laughs> he lets everybody know I'm there. So that's good. That's good. And Prophet Joshua, the way you did the breaking news, I think people like your experience. They love oh, yes. the experience of the oh, breaking news. Oh, my God. Yes, it was so, I got an opportunity. It was so special. We were down at um, Dr. Larry Reed's event, mm -hmm. Reformation 2022, and I would, you know, they knew about the, breaking news over there. I mean, <laughs> I was just going, I was on the line to get some Starbucks, right? And um, it was one of the wonderful families that came up to me and they says, they said, Bishop Elect, Prophet Joshua. And I came and turned around and says, Oh, hello, how are you? And they says, Oh my God, my son loves the breaking news. So we were downstairs. You did in not. The whole, oh, oh yes. yeah, I think oh, we did. Oh, yes, we did. Oh, my yes, we did. I yes, we did. We have a they asked, they said, can we just get a picture with the break? I says, we can do a video. So we did a whole video right Come there yes. in the lobby. It was me and the young man. He was I mean, about children, seven years old. He was about seven old. or eight years old. And you old. know what's so funny? The kids, the kids love breaking news. They love Like, I'll tell you, my children, sometimes they sit at home and they're like, mommy, play breaking news. And so, like, you know, sometimes <laughs> I strategically found news. some services that I knew had, like, a lot of breaking news back to back, and I would just let it rip. And they <laughs> love it. And you see them running around and doing the whole thing, running into the wall. Like, <laughs> it's a whole thing. But apparently, a lot of the children, it's a thing that children do. So it's breaking not just mine. They'll sit in the house and they'll just, you know, Joe will break out breaking news. 
and just wait for her father to respond. You know, and you know, it's, something. it's anointed because we were right in the lobby and no one stopped us. No one came. And we didn't do it just once. I mean, we had a practice run. And I said, I looked at the young man and I said, come on, man. We can't have me the only one. And I mean, that second time we let it loose. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that breaking news reached heaven and they were videoing as mom and dad was there. Um, I mean, it was just absolutely phenomenal to meet many of the people that, you know, it was great to be on the other side of the screen, you Come know, because there's so much of our family that, you know, we're, we're physically distanced, but mm -hmm. to come together and to share with one another, it was such a blessing. You know, yeah. almost everybody that I've seen, I had to just, you know, hug yeah. on their neck, you know. Mm -hmm. so you, know you know what I asked people at the birthday celebration? Um, I asked them, I said, because we're in the Verbello site all the time. Mm. And we come live, but we're in the coaching part of it, so they only see our avatars and they only hear our voice. So I said, are we the same people showing up for you now? Mm. Are we in the... Wow. She's, and, and, and do you still feel the, the love? And she said, absolutely, because they were strategic to find all the coaches mm -hmm. because we speak in their lives right. every day. Wow. Right? So most of them come, so they said, yes, you guys are the same way that you guys are in the offices i wanted to come meet the coaches i wanted to come meet you i wanted to see will you still sound the same way i want to see if you still smile the same way i want to see how does that look because you know you could tell an inflection yeah. in your voice are you smiling yeah when you talk. absolutely and so it's amazing you know um the people of god we want to we love to love on you and i hope yes. that you recognize that the love that comes from Archbishop and Dr. E. Yes. Jordan and Pastor Deborah Jordan and the Joy the Jordan family, they put that same pieces of the puzzle inside of the leadership. And I hope and pray that what you see, and even down to the, the media, if you ever know what Mark Archbishop does, he always at the end of every service, he says, I want to thank the media team. That's how you know Legs. Legs is a part of the service mm -hmm. you you know you hear say prophetess danielle you'll hear them call out um you'll hear them call out the different pieces of the puzzle obed obed like obed is running the back but you also know the faces here because bishop archbishop dr e. bernard jordan touches you right where you are yes yes and that's one of the things i can say throughout the whole um, throughout all of our work, our mission work, I would, I would yeah. call it, I, our prophetic missions, um, that's one of the things that I've seen Dr. E. Bernard mm -hmm. Jordan yes. do. You know, he is our most trusted name in prophecy. But it reminds me of something, you know, we used to get those CDs with the prophetic word on it, oh and it goodness. said, my personal prophecy. Master Prophet is one of the most personal prophets. Yes. Um, I've seen him take time with the people of God, take time with, I mean, from pastors and bishops and so on to, you know, people, little old me, you know, just sitting there and talking with me, having a conversation, taking a photo. I mean, signing my book. I mean, oh. being able to hear my prayer request, I pray with me right at that moment. I mean, God, I may get a prophetic word and didn't even know it. And I mean, just it's so powerful how God begins to move through our archbishop, through his eminence. And, you know, that's one of the things that I saw so much of. Um, you know, you could feel the love from Archbishop as he poured it out onto the people of God, you know, in our various cities. You know, what a blessing it was, Minister Clark. We were able to, um, there were seven in, was it seven inside of Detroit? There were seven in Detroit and five in Indiana. And five in Indiana, members of the Company of Prophets that came into the prophetic Oh, quarter. wow. I mean, where else, who else does that? I mean, come, not you come to the city, but we'll come to you in a city near you. So, I mean, it's a blessing. I mean, I was, I was touched. I was moved. I was inspired. I mean, just to see the work of the Lord um, take place. So, you know... I, all of this came out on how we're doing. So. How we're doing. So to answer that, we are doing great. <laughs> Excellent. No, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Yes. Now, as we, we've given you the ways to give, we have taught you and shared with you in regards of making sure that you get the Taruma seat into the ground. Because just because you see this middle seat is unoccupied, it's occupied. 
See, I want to help some of you out there. Come on, come on. See, some of y'all get caught up and say, oh, no, I don't see anybody here. No, there's someone here. There is someone here. Thank you. Now, if you're recognizing and understanding and being respectful of the fact that there is someone here, number one, you'll make sure that you continue to sow seeds as if the physical man was here, but the person is still here. See, some of y'all want to be caught up in personality. Some of y'all get caught up in... Oh, do I see him there? Oh, I can play hooky. It's like, you know, when you used to go to school and you see your teacher was off, you know, you cut class seventh period. Or, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to cut class fifth period because Mr. Johnson ain't there. No, 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 mm. no, no. The archbishop is here. If you see bishop-elect, that means the archbishop is here. If you see us, that means the archbishop, archbishop is, is here. here. And so we want to make sure before we get the line above the company of prophets, we want you to make sure that you know the mass prophet is requesting at least 12 of you tonight to do the one thousand dollars seed yes you you out there especially those of you who have done the pledges this is your opportunity to as reverend run used to say put that tic tac in that whale's mouth and see the whale start to get filled come on come on it's that simple don't wait oh my god i don't see bishop i don't see bishop in the flesh so that means okay i can that's the perfect time for you to do so you'd be surprised and me and my wife as we were driving out today we were having a conversation as we're relating back to the poem meetings that are starting back up now at 5 p.m. Amen. Oh, I like this. See, I love this. See, look at this breaking news right there. The Master Prophet is saying, I'm looking for 22 people on this ah, hey! number there. Come on, come on. Do the $1,000 seed. And will you be one of the masters today to do the $1,000 seed? And everyone else, you know you're supposed to be doing that $222.22. You know that just... You know you want to unseat the prophet. You know that. You know you want the word. But well, who can just unseat the prophet? Who else is doing that? I, don't, I mean, I don't you know tell who me. Else to... Who else is doing that? That's right. right. That's you true. can get. You can get mm -hmm. a right now word. That is a right true. now word. A right now word. Because you know these prophets. I remember Prophet Joshua said, Bishop Alex said that he was in Target, and one of the prophets just said, "I see Target." Yeah. Right, <laughs> while is, I was there. And then he almost dropped his phone because this is how accurate this prophecy is. Because you got some prophets that's all they're doing is all day long is prophesying. That's all they're doing. That's all that they're doing. True. They're in because God is no respected person. We were talking about this on the way. We said God would use an ass. Come on. Come on. He would hey. use an ass. Yes, he would. So let's, let's go ahead. He would, there's no respected person. So stop looking at personality. Today is your day to begin to sow the seed. If you if you listen to the side of my voice and you said you never ever sowed a thousand dollars seed before, let me see. If just you know, I feel like there's somebody that was blessed today with some money, oh, no. some unexpected money. It's for you to sow it and get a word from the master prophet. Get a word from the company of prophets and begin to move something that you never moved before. Hmm. Oh, wow and wow and wow. Powerful, powerful. You know, it's so powerful to take on the opportunity to sow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To take on the opportunity to sow. And um, tonight, I believe this is a very special opportunity as our our father, our father, Dr. Bernard Jordan, is looking for 22 of us yeah, that, that would bullshit. stand on this master number day. I believe that there is something that is on the other end of your seed called harvest. And I want to encourage there, those of you under the sound of my voice, amen, this evening, I want to encourage you to get that seed of faith into the ground. If that's you saying, listen, I'm sowing my $1,000 dollar seed or more. Now, you know, listen, it goes without saying, we know what we're going to get here. Uh, we received the word of the Lord from not just one, but two prophets, veteran oh. prophets that are going to give us the word of the Lord. Not just that, but we get a one-on-one -on -one with the master prophet where we get an opportunity to ask a question. I mean, and so much more there. I mean, why not? So the 1,000, there's some of us that that is going to jumpstart our mastermind or jumpstart our blessing plan, Amen. cycle number 13, you know, so that this next coming month we'll receive the vegetables, the fresh vegetables at our house and so much more. But I believe that this is your day, that the master prophet didn't call for 22 people on this mm. master number that is going to be one of the masters 
today, that it is an opportunity to be one of the masters today. And so I want to encourage you, sow that seed of, of $1,000 or more. If that's you, text to give it. That's one of my favorite ways to sow. You sow by texting one word, my worship, to 646-762-0433. Or listen, you can always call in your seat at 888-831-0434. But I know that you are one of the masters. I know that you are one of the millionaires. Amen. That is to stand in faith with that thousand dollar seed or more today. Amen and amen. There's some of you under the sound of my voice that says, Prophet Joshua, the thousand is the stretch for me. Well, that means that that seed is a seed for you. I love how Dr. E. Bernard Jordan says this to us. God doesn't want um, uh, just any money from us, but he wants the money that we love. That's he wants the, that seed that we love. He wants that promised seed. There's something about giving unto the Lord unreasonably, giving unto the Lord where God, I trust in you. God, this is a tangible representation that you are my source, that you are my alpha and you are my omega, God, that you are my beginning and you're my end, that you're my shield and you're my buckler. Come on, you're my anointing and my vessel, that there's something that happens when I look at the power that is in the seed, that is in the power that is in releasing it, amen, right now. So family, if that's you, I know I'm getting excited because I was speaking, Prophetess Jessica, we're one of those that are to do the thousand dollar seed on today, amen. And I wonder, are you one of those, amen, as well? I wonder who's gonna be that partner that comes behind, who's gonna be that family, who's gonna be that business, who's gonna be uh, that standing in proxy, maybe as you're standing for a son, or you're standing for your son and your daughter-in-law, your daughter and your son-in-law. I don't know who I'm speaking to tonight, but I wanna encourage you to get that seed of faith into the ground, amen and watch God work concerning you. Minister Clark, uh, Prophetess, Prophetess Cheryl and Prophet Clark, can you give the people of God the ways to sow? Amen. As I want to get some time to put in my seed this evening. Amen. Not Amen. a problem. And right before we get the company of prophets, we're going to share with you once again how to make sure you get your seed into the ground. Now, you can do the text to give option, which means you can text the word my worship to 646-762-762. 0433. Once you've done so, follow the prompts, get your thousand dollars seat into the ground if you're doing it via the text to give option. Or you can speak to one of our moderators on our partner care line at 888-831-0434. Once again, that is 888-831-0434. When you speak to a moderator, let them know that you're doing the one thousand dollar seat because you're one of the masters here today. Or you can do it by going to our, our, our secure website, which is zoeministries.com. Click the Donate tab. Once you get to the Donate page, you will be able to start to get your seed processed either via credit card or via PayPal. Amen and amen. So are you going to be a master tonight? Come on. Get your seed into the ground. And without further ado, we always keep the number. We're going to get the lineup of the company of profits. We always keep the number one spot for our leading lady. Pastor Prophet is Deborah Moshe, Jordan. Moshe. Now, are there Wait, any other today. worthy class masters here Come tonight? On, well, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. What you bouged up? Good after good evening, worthy class master Gloria Jean Kelly. Good evening, worthy class master Gloria Kelly. How are you? Amen. Great. Thank you so much. Great. Good. Thank you. <laughs> very welcome, very welcome. Good to hear your voice, and you are number two on the list. Amen and amen. Any other worthy class masters? Worthy class master Maddie Young until 9 p.m. Good evening, worthy class master Maddie Young. How are you? I am blessed and highly favored, and how are you this afternoon? We're doing excellent. No complaints over here, and it's a blessed to be in the land of the limit, living. Living. I don't know where that comes from. But anyway. We know that you're going to be with us until 9 p.m., and you are number three on the list. Thank you once again for joining us. Are there any other... Thank you. Amen. Are there any other worthy class masters? Amen. Do we have any of the leaders of the Temple Sears? Good evening, Temple Sears. Antoinette Harris, how are you? I'm doing excellent. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you. Amen. If you get a moment, can you please start to make your way to the screen so you can be able to share about the seekers call tonight? 
Yes, I will. Amen. Thank you very much. Next Temple Sears, do we have the other leader of the Temple Sears with us? Amen. Without hearing that voice, I'm going to put myself down as number five, Prophet Gregory Clark Sr. Put my wife down, Prophet Cheryl Clark is number six. And put Bishop Elect number seven. Lady Jessica Jordan number eight. Prophet Legs, no, let me see, 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 I know, I just want to make sure. Just, <laughs> Legs already shaking his head. No, do not put Prophet Legs as number nine. That's, that's an inside joke. Amen, amen. Well, it's not a joke. He, he is part of the order, but he's, he's, he's doing a, a major duty, so we, we recognize that. Amen. Do we have any other Temple Sears? Prophet Terry Stenson. Amen. God bless you, Prophet Terry Stenson. And you are number nine on the list. And once again, thank you for joining us. Amen. Next, Temple Seer. Temple Seer Iris Green, God bless you. God bless you, Prophetess Iris. How art thou? I am doing well, bless the Lord. How are you doing? Doing excellent. It's great to hear your voice, and you're number 10 on the list this evening. Thank you, and I will be here till 10 o'clock. You'll be here till 10 p.m., so please note that Prophetess Iris Green, who is number 10, will be with us until 10 p.m. Thank you. Next, Temple Seer. Okay, hear no other voices. Do we have any of the leaders of the temple guards? Okay, do we have any temple guards that are with us tonight? Prophetess Janice Scott, good evening, Minister Clark, and to everyone. Amen. God bless you, Prophet Janice Scott. It's great to hear your voice, and you are number 11 on the list tonight. Thank hey, you. You're very welcome. Any other temple guards? Grace and peace, Minister Clark. Grace and peace, brother, man from the great island of St. Martin, William Richards. And you will be number 12 on the list for this evening. Grace and peace. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Do we have any other temple guards? Amen. Hearing all the voices, do we have any initiates or neophytes? Good evening, Prophetess Latoya Dawkins. God bless you. God bless you. And you'll be number 13 on the list tonight. And once again, thank you for your service. Amen. Next, Prophet. Good evening. This is Prophetess Mary Shen. Amen. God bless you, Prophet Mary Shen. You'll be number 14 on the list for tonight. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Amen. Next, Prophet. Good evening. This is Prophetess Kimberly Lewis. Good evening, Prophetess Kimberly Lewis. And you'll be number 15 on the list. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Amen. Next, Prophet. Okay, I'm sorry. I did not get your voice. Prophetess Barbara Stinson. Amen. Prophet is Barbara Stinson. We thank you for joining us. And you are number 16 on the list for tonight. Thank you. You're very welcome. Next, Prophet. Prophet Maxine Wise. I don't know if you got that. I got kicked out. <laughs> no problem. Are you going to seek his call and return later? Yes, I am. Amen. So please note that Prophet Maxine Wise will be with us till 9 p.m. and then return after the end of the seeker's call. And you'll be number 17. Thank you for joining us. Next, Prophet. Prophet Tasha Howard. Amen. Prophet Tasha Howard, you will be number 18 on the list tonight. And once again, thank you for joining us. Thank you. You're very welcome. Next, Prophet. Prophet is Myra Turkweed. Good evening. It was great to see you in Atlanta. Uh, Good all the time. It was a blessing to see you all. Amen, amen. And once again, we thank you for joining us, and you'll be number 19 on the list. Next, Prophet. Amen. Let's get a hand clap for our 19. Amen. 
Well, Bishop Electra, I see we be starting to see certain things getting set up here. So yes, yes, we're yes, about yes. About to get on the road. We sure are. And listen, family, now is the time. I feel like that. Um, in the scripture, there was a one of the well maidens. She would say she said it. It's in First Samuel nine mm. when she saw Saul, Saul, mm. and his servant. Mm -hmm. She said. Make haste. Make haste. <laughs> <laughs> the seer is in the city. Oh, bullshit. My God, my God. And so, make haste. family, I want to encourage you to make haste. Mm. Make haste. For the seer is in the city. If that's you that is standing with the $1,000 seed, because you're saying, listen, I'm one of the masters today. I want to encourage you to get that seed of faith into the ground. But let us find out, Prophetess Jessica, um, who do we have or what do we have next? Oh, next we have our very own, one of my favorites, Prophetess Antoinette Harris, who is going to come. Yes! Our speaker master! Hey, 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 hey! You don't have special secret master in there? <laughs> wow, good we evening. Say How's Good evening um, to all, to um, our um, Dr. Jordan, Dr. Even R. Jordan and Lady Deborah in their absence and to all those on the dais, all the ministers, elder, all the elders, ministers and prophets and friends. How are you tonight? We're doing excellent. Great doing to see great. you. Great to see you, Prophetess Antoinette. Great. It's, it's such a pleasure to, to speak about the Secrets class and tonight at 9.30 in meeting and all of you are invited. And it's a place where there is prophetic learning so that you can have prophetic understanding. And I think that the environment allows us to um, be in a safe place to study and to um, be open for what is next. And so you have an opportunity to make the choice and so the choice will require the training. And so this is where it begins in the secrets class. So you're welcome to come two to three daily and 9.30 to 10.30 daily, Eastern Standard Time. And you're welcome to come. You can go to um, bishopjordan.com and register there if you'd like to. If not, you can just meet us in the class and we'll register you get there because we'd like to know everyone that comes in the classroom. Uh, even if you don't come back, at least we know that you were there. At least we know that you were seeking for what was seeking you. And so this is a great time for you to think about it and um, be open to what is next and be in the place that is um, being held open for you. Um, when it's your time, you'll come. It's just when you hear, you know, harden out your heart and just make your way forward. And so we're there every day, two to three, and 9.30 to 10.30 will be there very shortly. Tonight is Prophet Maxine should be there tonight, and uh, along with uh, other prophets. And so you're welcome to come and see what it's all about, bring your questions if you like. But this is really the life work of the Master Prophet, Lady Deborah Jordan. And what's really important about this is that you get a chance to look at the foundation. This is really prophetic school 101. It's the very beginning, the grassroots. And this is where, um, the soil that we sit in and uh, we continually um, look at the foundation and make sure there's no accident. So you have an opportunity to see where we stand and how we stand. And when you find yourself in other places other than the place you should be, you find that the strength that you have is not really as strong as you think it is. Because when the wind comes, it will not only blow you, but it might break you. So if you're in the proper ground that you should be in, then the strength will be at the base. So therefore, whatever comes, whatever shows up, you'll be able to get through it. You'll never be able to go over it or around it. So this is a place where you can really get your, your sense of uh, your abilities and your limitations. Why? Because at least we know that at the end of ourselves, there is God. So meet us in that classroom tonight, 930. We welcome you, one all. Um, Bring your questions, bring your, um, your your desire, your thirst. Bring your thirst. Do that. Bring your thirst. And see you there in the class. Back to you. Um, I was going to say, well, Dr. Clark, so in a minute, but um, Minister Clark, back to you.
I guess you're already prophesying. Come on! It just happened. It sounds good, too. It rolls right... It, it, it sounds good. It's, it rolls right off the it tongue. It does roll right off. It has a nice flow to it. Paging Dr. Clark. I'm sorry, I'm getting excited. Paging Dr. Clark. <laughs> Paging Dr. Clark. Oosh. Oosh. <laughs> no, not uh. that kind of doctor. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Don't get it confused. <laughs> Man. Amen. Oh, my goodness. But that was great to hear, you know. We're all members on, on the sacred desk. We're all members of the prophetic order yes. of Mar Elijah. And um, we, we do have fun because God allows us to be in a space to have some levity. But, you know, it is a very, um, I don't call it an intense walk. I call it a walk that you decide to maneuver through. Mm -hmm. And the reason why taking advantage of the opportunity of joining us in the Seekers classes, there's already been an unction or some sort of vibration that's been happening inside of you. Because mm. some people call it a sixth sense. Some people say, you know, that little thing that told me to move left and move right. And you notice the people that move right got hurt. And all of a sudden you wonder, like, yo, what happened? God has always been speaking through you. You've probably been listening. You've probably been touching things and feel a vibration. If you're one of those individuals, then, and you haven't joined us here at a Seekers um, Conversation, the invitation is open to you. But you must have download it to your respective laptop or desktop, our virtual platform. You see, before, we used to have it on a conference call. And we'd be able to say a conference call number, and say put in this code, and you sit there and you could be on your phone. No. We wish for you to be in our space in the metaverse, mm. where the Master Prophet leads from the future. We're not staying in an antiquated past. Have you noticed there's no more? I mean, the other day we left because we was able to see they had the shape and the body of an old telephone booth. But in the telephone booth was like yeah. a regular phone. But you you looked on the outside, you, you, if you were from, okay, yeah, I'm dating myself. If you were from the <laughs> 70s, or you 80s. remember, or the 80s, you yeah. still remember telephone booths. Telephone mm -hmm. booths. And so this place that we were visiting and having some conversations around had a telephone booth. And it was interesting to say, wow, these used to be all over the place. They were plentiful mm -hmm. for that age. Mm. That's now, good, Prophet Clark. If you're not, if, if you're still stuck in the telephone age, or you're still looking for that telephone booth, you're in the wrong age. Yeah. So now, if you were looking for a telephone number, say, oh, you're waiting for our seeking master to say, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Here's the telephone number. Join us on the call. Says no. You get to join us here in the vir in, in in the in a virtual environment, which positions you for what is coming next. And for some of you who have been starting to see some of the upgrades that Verbella is doing or the way that even when you log in, you're starting to get a minor glimpse of how our, even our particular space of the metaverse is about to be updated. There's going to be things that's going, you're going to be able to navigate, but you know, that's coming soon. And also, especially for our poem meetings, you know, the Master Prophet has already stated it. For this, for this cycle, we were talking about blessing plan number 13, where eventually some of these conversations might be in Patreon. Mm -hmm. So if you're not part mm -hmm. of Blessing Plan 13, or if you're not a member of the Prophetic Order of Moral Elijah, plus being registered for Blessing Plan 13, because you could be a prophet in an order who's just, for some strange reason, didn't register for Blessing Plan number 13, and then hear that there was a great teaching or a great meeting, and like, how come I wasn't informed? Because you wasn't fully in the number. But I'm a member of home. What does that mean? We spoke about it earlier. Obedience is better than sacrifice. If you know that the part of your obedience, a part of your actualization and being in order, saying, wait a minute, I know that Dr. E. Bernard Jordan is my leader within this order. I know he's my presiding priest. I know that I'm a giver. I know that I'm a partaker. I know I'm in community and partnership here. Then, as you can see on the screen, especially if you're looking at it on the Verbella campus, you see right to the left of me, you see the opportunity for you to register and make sure that if you're in our campus, you have that 13 next to your name. If a 13 is not next to your name, that means you're not part of blessing plan number 13. It's very simple. You don't have to make a decision. You don't have to make, you have to start thinking and wondering. It's like, wait a minute, did the, moder the moderator do anything? No, you can go to the moderator. It starts with you. So remember, Monday evenings now, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, all of a poem is assembled. I say this again, 6 p.m. 
Eastern Standard Time, all of Poem is assembled. And we're assembled here on this platform where we all meet collective. We're getting back in order. The Master Prophet is bringing everything back into, some, into that next level of order. Because even if we're leading from the future, we have to remember the past so we can be positioned for the future. So as we continue to get all these things in order, and we're watching, and we keep reiterating certain things, we keep sharing with you, because we wouldn't want you to be that one prophet or that one partner that says, wait a minute, I heard it's a great teaching. I heard Prophet Lex was in there telling people about options and theta and this, that, and that, and that, and I missed it. And you can sit there and be like, wait a minute, but you were given that opportunity. You were given that opportunity. Right. What did you do with it? But, and now here we go. Now we're going to stand there. We're going we're to listen to you regardless if it's on the phone, for Bella, or, or whatever. And you're going you're to create the story to the reason why you were not amongst the number. Mm. So please, for the love of God, especially before, as we know, our Dr. Ibnard Jordan will be joining us shortly. Make sure, it takes two seconds, especially if you're in Verbella, all you have to do is go to speak to any of the moderators that are right there in the campus. Hello, my name is such and such. Can you please add me to the list? I wish to be registered in Blessing Plan number 13. And you can tell that the Master Prophet is a giver. Because it's not even, say if you registered today on this Master Number Day of July 22nd, he will still retroactively, because yeah. you registered, will say, wait a minute. This particular person has been given since June. Well, you're given way before that. But it says, wait a minute. Okay, let's go to June 15th. And everything that that person gave since June 15th until now shall be considered as part of Blessing Plan 13. Wait a minute. He's not saying, wait a minute. Okay, the seeds that you started sowing on July 22nd. No, he registered. That individual registered for Blessing Plan 13. So now retroactively, since they made the conscious decision to be obedient, to be a part of the number, to make sure that they are part of the process. Okay, anything that they've sown since June 15th is now retroactively in the plan. So say since June 15th, if you have over $1,000 in, that means you definitely already are guaranteed that you can register for the prophetic coaching as one of the benefits. Oh my God, I've, I've given like $3,000 since June 15th. Okay, so that means not only do you get the prophetic coaching, but now you get the books, and now you're going to start seeing the chef's garden box being sent to your home because you've achieved that tier level. Yes, everything, and my wife expressed it to you earlier, everything is different cycles. Yes. If you keep making these assumptions and go through life saying, wait a minute, when I was a part of Blessing Plan number nine, we did this. You said what? Blessing Plan number what? We are now in the current. Blessing Plan 13. Even whatever happened in 12, 12 has been completed. So you can't keep saying, well, you know, we did this in 12, and he gave this, and then, and then, and then, and then. We're going to help you to minimize the story. We are now in blessing plan number 13. You've had the opportunity since June 15 to register for this plan. The Master Prophet is still extending grace to allow you to say, as soon as you register, anything that you have sown since June 15 shall be a part of this current program. And that includes the fact that once you reach at least attain the $1,000 that you paid into your plan, you have access to the prophetic coaching. Once you reach the $1,750 level, not only do you get coaching, but then that gets you the books, the five great books. And we, and we played the, the clip a little bit earlier where you saw Bishop-elect, assistant, our Dr. Ibn al Jordan expressing about some of those books that you will receive as part of 13. So now you're going to get those books, and you're going to start getting the chef's garden box. It is up to you. But we have to keep reiterating this, because for some of you, we want to make sure. So when the time comes, and you start seeing people starting to enjoy certain benefits or get certain access to certain platforms, and you're wondering why you're not there, Obedience is better than sacrifice. Make sure that you are registered today. Make sure that you are part of the community. We have too much lip service sometimes in our, in, in our lives, and that, that, that doesn't work. Because then we, keep talk, we talk a good game, but then we have nothing to back it up. But if you can talk, mix it with action, mix it with your faith, being progressive, moving within the marketplace, doing what you need to do, and next, you know, those things that you thought that you weren't able to do, 
God has given you the strength and the talents and the ability to be able to manifest and to proclaim and to be in the number. Mm -hmm. On this master day, if you know that you're one of the individuals that have not, and if you especially be in the Verbella platform, you're noticing, I don't have a 13 behind my name. We have several op we have several moderators who are on the campus. If you're an individual who um, is ready to join us and you're watching us via YouTube, you can call our partner care line at 888-831-0434. Once again, you can call 888-831-0434. Give them your name, give them your information. If you're already a partner with us and you haven't registered for 13, you can do so right now. And with that being said, we're going to go to some songs and we'll be right back after these messages.
This is Master Prophet E. Bernard Jordan, your master teacher. Soon we'll be starting to do most of our teaching in Patreon because we're going to be moving into a time where I want to look at it as mystery school. You know, a lot of places teach the history of Jesus, but so many miss the mystery of Christ. Do you not know you can have a historical Messiah or a mystical one? I choose both. And so we've taught you about the history of Jesus being the Son of God, but are you ready for the mystery of Jesus, the mystery of the gospel? I want to look at prayer for a moment. Prayer, we have looked at and just understood it as talking to God. But I want to offer you something else that prayer probably does that you didn't know that prayer was even doing. Let's talk about prayer with you for a moment. What is prayer? Prayer is an editing tool. Prayer goes down into the subconscious and edits it. Mm. Edits the subconscious because the subconscious is what brings about the objective reality. You see, you don't get what you want. Your want is the objective mind. You get what you are. You are is your subjective mind. That is the deep part of yourself. The Bible says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. I thought I would leave that with you for a moment. Come join us in Mystery School. And if you're not following us, why don't you text the information that is on the screen so that you can be connected. To be connected is to be set free. Peace. Grace and peace, I'm Prophetess Deanna, and I have some special announcements that you need to hear on today. Register now for the Master Prophets Blessing Plan 13. As a member of the Master Prophets Blessing Plan, you'll receive five exclusive textbooks, workbooks written by the Master Prophet, Archbishop E. Bernard Jordan himself. Every month, you'll receive the Chef's Garden Box with fresh vegetables straight from the farm to your doorstep access to Master Prophet's library app, access to Prophetology Winter 2023, and special seminars and prophetic coaching on the Zoe Virtual Campus. You do not want to miss out on the Master Prophet's Blessing Plan 13. Register now by calling our partner care line at 888-831-0434. Once registered, your tithes and your offerings will go towards the cost of the Master Prophet's Blessing Plan 13, which is only $5,500. Once you fulfill the Master Prophet's Blessing Plan requirements, you have the opportunity to go to the next level and become a member of the Mastermind for an additional $8,500. As a member of the Mastermind, you'll get exclusive access to seminars led by experts in various industries for those who are ready to expand their minds and businesses. Do not be left out. Sign up now by calling 888-831-0434. Every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., the Children's Church and Youth Church will meet on the Zoe Virtual Campus. You can click go to, then select either Children's Church or Youth Church. We are encouraging all children and youth to attend. Every day, join the Master Prophet and the Company of Prophets for our 24-hour prophetic revival. You can listen to teachings by the Master Prophet and the Company of Prophets, as well as receive live prophetic updates. You will also receive prophetic words from the Company of Prophets when you sow your seed to the ministry. 
Call in at any time of the day at 515-604-9266. Join our leading lady, Pastor Prophetess Deborah, for the Midnight Prayer Call. On Mondays, the call is led by the men. Tuesdays, Mothers Always Praying. On Wednesdays, Wow, Women Only Wednesdays. Thursdays, All Are Welcome, led by the Temple Seers. And Fridays are led by the women. Saturday and Sunday, All Are Welcome. If you have a prayer request, submit your prayer request on PastorDebraJordan.com. Then join us at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time by dialing 515-604-9266. All are welcome. Are you in need of prophetic direction for your life? If you're a part of the Master Prophets Blessing Plan 12, you can sign up now for our 15-minute coaching sessions with the prophetic coaches on the Zoe Ministries virtual campus today. Call 888-831-0434 to schedule your appointment now. If you have not already done so, go to zoeministries.com and download the Zoe Ministries virtual campus. Did you have a prophetic experience recently? Did your word come to pass received by the Master Prophet in the Company of Prophets? Share your testimony with us today by emailing it to media at zoeministries.com. We want to share your testimony with our partners and social media platforms. Join us every third Sunday for Holy Communion during our 12 p.m. service. Have your communion elements ready. Are you called to be a prophet? Join the Seekers Meeting daily at 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 9.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the Seekers Room on the Zoe Virtual Campus. The Master Prophet is looking for 120 new prophets to join the prophetic order of Mar Elijah. Will you be one of them? If you're currently a member of the prophetic order of Mar Elijah, the Master Prophet has need of you. Sign up for the Prophets on Call to support the Master Prophet on live social media platforms, including Facebook and Clubhouse. Please note, to participate, you must be cleared on the Prophecy Team calls. Email Prophetess Janice Goss at jgoss at zoeministries.com and note Prophets on Call in the subject line. You can now listen to Master Prophet E. Bernard Jordan's weekly podcast, Prophetology the Podcast, where the Master Prophet interviews experts in various fields such as ministry, health and wellness, business, education, social justice, and more. You can listen on your preferred streaming platforms such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, or the TuneIn app. Or you can listen on the ZoeMinistries.com or BishopJordan.com. Remember to subscribe, like, and share Prophecology the Podcast. Are you on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube? Stay connected by liking and sharing Bishop Jordan, Pastor Deborah Jordan, and Zoe Ministries Church on Facebook. Follow and repost us on Instagram at Archbishop underscore Jordan, at Pastor Deborah, and at Zoe Ministries Official. Follow and retweet us on Twitter at Bishop Jordan and at Pastor Deborah. Last but not least, subscribe, like, and share to our YouTube channels, Zoe Ministries and Bishop Jordan. To get all of the latest updates. Learn how to calculate your Taruma seed. Download the Taruma app today. Listen to your prophetic words from your one-on-ones with the Master Prophet and the Company of Prophets. Download the Prophecy Now app. Both apps are available on Google, Apple, and Amazon. Download it now and tell a friend. If you are a part of the Master Prophets Blessing Plan and the Mastermind, download the My Mastermind Journey app. It allows you to track your intentions and the app is based on the Master Prophets work. On the My Mastermind Journey app, it's easy to sign up. You can create an account using the email address that you use with Zoe Ministries. You can create your personal profile by following following the prompts and answering the questions about yourself, including your name, gender, email address, and phone number. You can view your daily action steps by tapping the intentions icon, add an action step to your list of daily intentions, tap on the action step, or you can create your own custom action step by tapping on create custom action step. Type in the name of the action step and assign it to one of the four categories and choose an icon. 
You can also add a reminder for yourself. Get your progress reports by tapping on progress to monitor your progress on a daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly basis. Let's master our minds by downloading the My Mastermind Journey app, available in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. The July birthdays are as follows. Adjutant Gregory Clark Jr., Prophet Solomon Guy, Prophetess Angela Thompson, Prophetess Norma Clark, Prophetess Tangela Fleming, Prophetess Wendy Akua de Cruz, Sister Neva Medford, Sister Alicia Katrina Davis, Fledgling Shauna Jordan McZorn, Prophetess Irene Davenport, Sister Josette Mabry Trahan, Brother Calvin Osasami, Prophet Jason Downey, Prophetess Adi Hill, Prophetess Deborah Brown Jones, Sister Dana Derome, Prophet Joseph Jarrell, Sister Angela Reese, Prophet Samuel Guy, Sister Cassandra Shields, Sister Lola Dawkins, Prophetess Sarah Daughtry Chambers, Prophet Gabriel Hamilton, Brother Anthony Turner, Prophet Mitchell Calvin Brown, Pastor Alan Everett, Prophetess Jacqueline Millett, Sister Allison Goodman, Sister Phyllis Anderson, Brother Antonio Jackson, Brother Adrian Nunez, Prophetess Geraldine Struther, Fledgling Couture Gray, Brother Tyrone McCullum, Prophet Jarrett Cordez, Prophetess Sabrina Grinley, Brother Anthony Sanders, Prophet Tyrone Brackens, Sister Karen Gilpin, Sister Jamila Sampson, Sister Lasonia Bonds, Sister Tania Jackson, Sister Erica Paul, Sister Miko Stafford, Prophet Jeffrey Jackson, Sister Juanetta Thomas, Moderator Farouk Hossein, Prophetess Tina Burt, Sister Janet Belton, Moderator Jenkin Marin, Sister Murtis Calhoun, Prophetess Victoria Williams, Prophet Laurent Griffin, Sister Sharice Jones, Prophetess Minister Rosie Critchlow, Prophetess Deanna Barber, Sister Kelly Clark, Sister Sheila Levy, Sister Anshira Reed, Sister Elsa Wilson, Prophetess Hamika Dua, and Brother Adam Odawumi. Happy birthday to all of you from your Zoe Ministries family. If you have a birthday or anniversary coming up and are a member of the Master Prophets Blessing Plan 12, please send your headshot to info at zoeministries.com so you can be included in future birthday and anniversary celebrations. This concludes our service announcements. to your name. Healing God, He reigns forever.
What y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> get it in the ground. Get in the ground. Oh, get it. oh, oh you get your seed you in the ground. Seed in their the ground. seed yeah. in the ground. Wow. Now, wait a minute. You can get your seed into the ground right from your phone? Yeah, yeah. you can. Ooh. Wait a minute. Text now, to text to give. Text to give? Text to give, yeah. You never heard of it? You, you never heard of it? Wait a minute. Y'all look. Text to give. How do we do it? Come on, because there's some that have their phones out now, too. And they want to worship. How can we worship? Uh, just go onto your mobile phone, type in 646-762-0433. And All right. if you get All in there, right. type my worship, and easy you, like that. And there, and there's a QR. You know, when you hold your phone up there? QR code as well. Right hold there. it up. Scan it a right QR there. code. There's a QR wow. code. You just got to put right. your phone right there on the camera. Uh -huh. and you just Type it right there, and it takes you. You don't do the website. You don't do the website, Zoe. Because no, you can do that no, on your no, phone. No. Okay, go, pull it up on your pull phone. Pull it up on your phone. You go to Zoe, Zoe Ministries. Dot com. Okay, and click on that nice little blue donate button. The you button. just put in. Or you can go to bishopjordan.com. Yes. And you Bishop can always Jordan. click com. on the link there. Or maybe they want to call it in. Now you, you can know call what? it Prophet in as Naomi. well. We call can it call it in. in. Moderators are standing by right yes. now. Call in your seed. Yes, and you can call it in at 888-831-0434. Or the lifeline number. Now, we no. grew up on that lifeline yes, number. Did. Yes, we did. That lifeline number is older than you are. Stop it's telling sure. your age. Okay, I'm sorry. 212-316-2177. <laughs> Again, that's 212-316-2177. Seven. Seven. It's called with some expectation right. because God loves a cheerful giver. Indeed. And our seed is always going before us. That's God right. bless you. And remember that destiny, destiny is, is not left up to chance, chance but, but it's, it's, it's a, a matter of choice. Destiny is not left up to chance. It's a matter of choice. I'm down. 
down. Problems coming faster than I could count. Who can I run to? No one to talk to. Can somebody tell me what to do? Why did I do it? Why did this happen to me? You can get through it. You just have to believe what I do now. Gotta make it all count. So I now See this place anymore Cause my faith is getting stronger every day I mean, oh, and everything that's in my way And the fact that I survived another day oh, 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 this is my moment There's no turning back It took me a while But I have no regrets I'm giving my own to go through this storm. It won't break me, it won't kill me, I'll move on. And then I'll come out even better than before. And I'll never see this place anymore. Cause my faith is getting stronger every day. I'm removing everything that's in my way. And the fact that I survived another day makes me sorry. Why? Jessica Jordan. And I'm Prophet Joshua Jordan. And you're watching The Power of Prophecy. you god bless you well it is my pleasure to throw it to bishop elect because i know he knows how to introduce the man of god in a triumphant way bishop elect joshua jordan thank you so much minister clark and god bless you family and it is my great pleasure <laughs> this evening to introduce to some to present mm. to others mm. amen ladies and gentlemen boys and oh. girls Boys and girls, mighty men and mighty women. You of know, God. you really—that's not—that's not, that's not social <laughs> right, right now, it's not. He does say people. I want to. Happens 
of Earth. Right. No. <laughs> Lucky, Lucky in the circus. <laughs> Boys and girls. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all messing it up for me. Come on. <laughs> All right. Without any further ado, I'd like to bring to the screen none other than our most trusted name in the gift of prophecy, our father, Dr. E. Bernard Jordan. Let's give the Lord a great big hand clap of praise, family. God bless you, Dr. E. Bernard Jordan. How are you doing? I am doing great, 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 and wonderful. Amen. 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 Well, listen, we want to give God praise, honor, and glory for all the great things that he's Amen. doing. And um, today is the 22nd day of July. Yes, yes sir. So we are... Ray! I've been holding on to that for 15 that, days. It sounded like I've been you waiting to release it at the table. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the breaking news? Dr. E. Bernard Jordan, breaking news! Breaking news! Breaking news! Master Prophet! None other than Bishop Elect and Prophetess Jessica Jordan have sown the one thousand dollar seed on this master day today master prophet wow. just thought you should know wow and you know we're in jessica's sign because she's leo so yes we I are uh oh they enjoying, they enjoying it oh they enjoying this boy it, it, it is our time oh jeez <laughs> Until it's not. Right. The time is upon us. <laughs> Until it's not. It's, oh, Lord. Sounds like a true Virgo speaking. Come on! They can't even let you get good. Can't yes, even, Lord. They can't even step hey. into Leo. Right? I'm going to have an edge in Virgo. No, 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 because we know when Leo's coming, that means, you know, we come. Don't, 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 hey. don't try to ride our main hey. tails and It's not. Oh, no, no, we're going to ride it. <laughs> not the oh, main tail. Right. The main tail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What is happening? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Hit it, DJ. Hit it. Pass the prophet. We have to break it now. I feel like I have a good heart. Get up. Get up. Get up. Acoustics are great in here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. It seems like I, I, they got I want to sit next updated. to my favorite daughter in law. <laughs> you know, I, I need y'all to change seats. Oh, you like want Prophet Joshua on the other side of you? You want to no. see him? Yeah, I you know? got I would you never guys. break up a couple. <laughs> I would want him right on the opposite side. Because legs look, look, feels a little index over there. <laughs> That's fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Prophet Legs, you need to get closer to the soul tree sounds? No. Oh, okay. Um, what, what <laughs> what's the breaking news? Master Prophet, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Master Prophet. We have our very own prophetess, Kimberly Lewis, Master Prophet, that has just sown the $1,000 seed on this Master Day. Master Prophet, hallelujah. <laughs> just thought you should know. Oh, it's good to be back. All right, <laughs> hit it for Kimberly Lewis, DJ. Ask the prophet, we have some breaking news. I feel like I have a good heart. Get up. 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 Get up.
Mr. Clarkson. No, we do not. <laughs> we need you on the corner. So, you know, that Just day is over there. I think that. Listen, you know, yes, that's perfect. Right over, let's put both of them right over there. Right, I mean, but, no! <laughs> no. Mr. You know Jessica's what? like, you're no, You are immune. You do not react. you so you so used to it. Right? Because he is in the house all day. Yes. Oh, no, this is. This lights so, up? You know, this is Bishop Elect. This is Bishop This Elect. is not Bishop Elect like doing something because he is with you all here. This is Bishop Elect. This is Bishop Elect. That's right. Breaking news! <laughs> Breaking news! Breaking news! Master Prophet! <laughs> and what's the breaking news? Master Prophet, our very own Prophetess Rhonda Campbell has shown the one on this Master Day, Master Prophet! Hallelujah! <laughs> Just thought you should know. All right, hit it, DJ, hit it. Master Prophet, we have to break it now. I'm glad I have a good heart. Shia. <laughs> Get up. Get up. Get up. Looking for 22 people today, so this is great. Mm -hmm. We're looking for 22 people to do a thousand dollar seed. Okay, so I, I, I'm ready for 22 breaking news. What's the breaking news? Master Prophet, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Master Prophet, we have none other than our very own brother Adrian Nunez that has sown the one thousand dollar seed on this Master Day. Master Prophet! Wow. Hallelujah! <laughs> Just thought you should know. All right, let's hit it, DJ. Master Prophet, we have to break it. I'm glad I have a good heart. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up.
the breaking news. Master Prophet, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Master Prophet, well, we have our very own Karen Thompson that has sown the $2,222 seed on this Master Day. Master Prophet, No. All right, let's hit it for Karen Thompson. That's the prophet. We have to break it. I'm glad I have a good heart. Shia. Get up. 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 Twenty-two people to do the one thousand dollars seed. Today's a master number day. Today's yes, the twenty-second, yes. July seven twenty-two. Mm-hmm. So we're already more than halfway through the year. Mm-hmm. We're in the last half of the year, and um, we told you that this pandemic would not be over until the end of twenty twenty-two into twenty twenty-three. Mm-hmm. Thereby, we see the next trend is picking up. Yes, sir. Right. Um, I'm hearing of more people now mm. that are suddenly going into hospitals for no reason, mm. checking if they had heart attack, stroke, underlying situations they, did, they didn't know they had before. Mm. And we're telling the partners here, please, get back on your vitamin D protocol, you know, get, get on your scared straight protocol, vitamin D to C. You know what you were doing in the beginning? You might want to take out the, get the gender, mm-hmm. ginger. Mm-hmm. You want to get the inflammation out of the body, mm-hmm. work on self-care. Yes. Um, I wouldn't even fool with too much dairy in this season. Really, it's not over, Saints. Mm-hmm. Now, the country needed to open up mm-hmm. in order to keep an economy going. The prices are going up. Uh, food prices. I went the other. I went to today for the first time to Starbucks, and we got two drinks and a little. Hey, just twenty-two dollars. <laughs> Get out of here, Master <laughs> Prophet. No, no. Mm. Two drinks and a pastry. Yeah, it was a banana loaf. Yeah. Twenty-two dollars. Well, you know, I'm not surprised that a the price of loaf. eggs. I was about to say bread. The price of bread has gone up like tremendously. I was reading a headline that said some places had like ten dollars loaves of bread. Ten dollar a loaf. No, wait a minute. I I told it was Ernesto and I, and we made the cash, we made the guy at the cash register re ring it up over again. <laughs> no. I did. I said, "Is this?" A, That's real. I know. The guy, what you mean. What you mean, the guy looked and said. Let's see, I got it right. So he took it, he says, he re it. Mm-hmm. Two drinks and, and a little bit. That's <laughs> a little bit of banana loaf. The banana loaf is $22 and some change. Yeah. And the crazy thing about this season. I almost, I almost tried to tell Ernesto, let's put mm-hmm. one drink back and we'll share it. You know it. what? <laughs> listen, that's real. I om- listen. That's real. If I had children, I would get a little cup and say, we're going to all That's how you do it. Let us break bread together. <laughs> That's oh, right. Oh, yes, well, Jay and Joe get one, they get one. One drink to share. Well, yeah. Yes, as, as Joe would say it, uno y no mas. Uno y no mas. <laughs> so, thank you for whoever purchased this for me, because yes. I did not realize. These are now like $10 drinks. Yes, they are. 
it's just beans and water. And that's with the regular milk. That's the standard drink. Don't add a specialty milk. Right. Don't yeah, add it, pumps, it. pumps, drizzles, each one. Foam. Each one. Each one is a charge. Each pump is a dollar. Each yep. pump. Each pump. Wow, so it's like pump and pay. <sighs> Lacey, you know, is that getting that expensive? Did, did you buy groceries out there, Lacey? Yes. I, I just did some grocery shopping two days ago. It was about did, did it look a little myself. Did it look I spent a, at least like $150 a week. No, hold on, Legs. This is me, for, myself. Hold on, family, Legs. legs. It was myself. Like, that's a family of four. Hey, you, gotta pull us. you got a little myself. family hiding in the house there. <laughs> <laughs> we know y'all, Legs. Legs, we know. You got a little family oh, hiding in the house family. there. Wow. Mm. For himself? $150? Mm hmm. Wow. I'm totally in a different world, you know, because I just feed everybody that comes by. That's too true. I just keep feeding mm -hmm. people. I feed people until they say they don't want no more. Right. Maybe, you know, maybe what I do, maybe this week I go grocery shop. I, it, it probably would be good because I'd be in there and say, ma'am, could you ring that over again? I'm right. sure this is a mistake. Because, see, I'm used to, like, a family of four, you know, bill coming to maybe like $250 and that's it. The day long gone. No, that day is over. That day doesn't exist. That day is over. Situation. There's so many families that are um, really. This pandemic has taken them to a point where they don't understand, and they didn't have to um, really pinch and say. I was listening to a woman. I was in the in the aisle. I, I went to grocery shopping, and the woman was saying with her son. She said a bag of rice, and she and she was debating about <laughs> the bag of rice to get because that bag of rice used to feed so much. She's like, this is a lot of money for a bag of rice. And I was listening to her in the aisle because her and her son, and I'm looking at her, and they were Caucasian. What? And I said, she's like, she was looking, she said, this is a bag of, she said, I don't believe how much a bag of rice is. And, she, and I saw what she did. She, she, she looked at it, she got the smaller bag. And I was looking at my daughter, and I said, we need to be grateful. I said, did you see that just now? I said, she had a conversation with her son. And her son, her son had no relic, no, no, he had no insight. He was just like, oh, just get the rice. She was just looking at him like, she, because the reality is I have to make a decision. Mm -hmm. mm. I was, strange to say, I know some people that live in these um, expensive apartments. And they were hungry. Wow. Mm. I couldn't believe that at the birthday celebration, because you know all the food had went on the table in the back. Did you see that? There was yeah. anybody extra? Yeah. They caught a couple of people taking food mm. out. I mean, they had the gowns on and everything touched. And when they stopped and they said, what's, they said it was, it was gonna be for their meal tomorrow. Mm. They were staying mm. says, you don't have to wow. do this. Wow. It says, it says, I know I look good. We, Got everything going, you know, mm. I'm barely making ends meet. He says, but we have some real serious food insecurities. People are making choices about what they're it's eating. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. I was not, I, I, I just, I just haven't been in a supermarket aisle in a, mm -hmm. in a minute. And this is, um, mm -hmm. yeah. And when I read the article that they're getting ready to get rid of the chicken sandwich, yeah, they're getting rid of the chicken sandwich. And um, is it in what, what, what franchise? Or is it across? In many, said many restaurants, many they said restaurants, many restaurants are getting rid of the chicken sandwich because the chicken sandwich is too expensive. That's right. Oh Can you imagine that you will be in a generation that would say there used to be chicken sandwiches you can get? And <laughs> chicken sandwich would be something that would be on the, on the, on the plate of only the rich. 
Hey, that bullshit. You, you, look how right on my master prophet. You prophet. There was a prophet that prophesied this in yeah. a written judgment. It was in. It was in one of these books here. One of those books. One of these books. There was a prophet I, uh, about the price of. Hold on, I'm gonna pull it up, Master Prophet. Mm. Mm. And I'm telling you, we're getting ready to go into a famine. Ah, uh, babushi. Amen. And I'm pulling it up now. Is it in written judgments, volume four? Was it? Yes, it is. Or is it in written, or written is it? judgments, volume four? Or was it three? Yes, I have it in Written Judgments, Volume 4, page 22, Master Oh, I'm Prophet. sitting right on here. The second paragraph. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting right on it. Let me see. Can I, what does it say? Wow, Master Prophet. Um, would you like me to read from the... I will now call. Mm, you, you can go ahead. Well, I'll drink my expensive cup of coffee. Jeez. Hey! Sharma Sakaraba. Thank you. My God, I will now cause a new cure to surface. Mm -hmm. And out of your own plants, you will discover that I, the Lord, have moved the mountain so that you could discover the abundance of what I have preserved for you. The hour is fast approaching that you'll see a germ connect itself mm. to poultry. Mm. And the price of chicken will so escalate that it will become one of the most expensive meats in the earth. Expensive meat. Mm. 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 Chicken used to be like the cheapest meat, right? right. Uh, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, read on. This time, I will mm. start to move you towards a meatless diet for a season. Mm. Whoa, Master Prophet, this is, this is, this is. Oh, wait a minute. The different attacks will start a panic in certain food items. Right. And the economy, economy shall mirror that fear, saith the Lord. Okay. Well. Mm. Well, Master Prophet, you know it's bad when they poll certain Americans and ask them what they feel about the direction of the country. And even though COVID and its variants are still very much alive, that was on the lowest part of what they were worried about. Everything was mainly about the economy, food prices, and commodities prices. Well, I don't, I'm not like, what is gas at the pump now? Well, gas is actually down, but it's still. When you say it, down, when, what's, what's down? It's down from 501 to now, it's averaging about 449 a gallon. Oh, so, okay. so it's, it's, it's trending downward. Yeah. That's in New York. New York. No, no, no. Well, New in York. New York, we're, I know upstate by us now, well, I've seen 450s and 440s, mm -hmm. which is. What about in the Bronx? Mm. It's, it's still high in the Bronx, it's, it's right? Sure it's higher than it's the high 40, in the, 50. Mm -hmm. It is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which five it's, down. Closer to, it's closer to five. So, I mean, yeah. And that's regular. Mm. 480, 489. And what about California? Oh, wow. Oh, no. There was a point. Seven. They almost hit, they hit eight at one point. Yeah. I don't know if they're still there. There was one point they were, regular was at eight, and at the height of it, they, they were like certain areas in San Francisco where you were looking at a tent. The premium. Wow. Because I believe Cal out of a bell, we're out of a bell. Is someone's on that? Okay. Because I know the state of California, they started sending out. They don't consider it stimulus checks, but they're calling them gas checks to residents. I believe that make two hundred fifty thousand or less. They get like maybe a thousand dollars, twelve hundred dollars as a, an addendum. To help them with their, their gas. So 250000 now is poverty? For California, yes. <laughs> for California. You said that's so emphatic. Like, yes, for California, yes. And because they have to, and California and Texas, I think this is in Texas, Texas, you have to have a car. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And Texas is not part of the national grid, so if anything happens in Texas, that's why when the last superstorm that hit 
Galveston and it affected them mm -hmm. in their electrical grid. That's why when you had certain senators all of a sudden leaving the state, going to Mexico on vacation. But pretty much most of the state was knocked out of power because they're not part of the national grid. They refuse to be a part of the national grid. Why? Because uh, no man. Uh, yeah, that's, that's yeah. State. Uh, Lone Star State. He said it. The true words ever said. Lone Star. <laughs> that, that, the Lone Star State. You know. Uh, mm. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna leave that alone. Okay, so we are looking for twenty-two. Twenty-two people. And so that means we have right now eight. We have eight. So we need 14 others. Will you be one of the 14 that will join us today with the $1,000 seed? Um, I'm going to see if I can get muster up a $1,000 seed on today to do that. And let's, um, let's see, can we crush it today? Amen. Amen. And I believe we can. If all of you will... Um, Appraise spirituality over materiality. Uh, appraise wow. thought above mm. things. Mm. And appraise mind over matter. That's good. Right? Because the Spirit of the Lord spoke to mm. us about the Taruma mm -hmm. and says, if we practice this, He will show us something in this season of famine. Yes. You see how oblivious I am to what is actually happening. And I'm only oblivious because I am in a different realm. It's not a realm that I am better than. Yeah. It's just that I'm in the realm that there is a recession going on, mm -hmm. but I refuse to participate. Yes! I refuse to be a part of the data that is being declared. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let me get the line of the prophets. And uh, we're going to, we, do we need to do some unseats? Yes and yes, Archbishop. I believe we have. We one. haven't done no unseats at all. We haven't all. done any unseats. No, sir. Well, let's do some unseats and we're going to go into our teaching today. So, Nalissa or Marilyn or Jane or anyone that is in the chat room, are you there? Okay, thank you, Nalissa. Okay. Okay, we're going to get ready to a lineup. So, prophets, be prepared when I call your name to uh, respond. Amen. Please be ready. And let me get the, um, for you to post to unseats. And prophets, Janice, can you come to the stage? Yes, I can, Dr. Jordan. Be right up. All right. Any other prophets need to be added to the... Line up on today. Please state your name. Okay, I guess everyone is, is here. All right. Okay, let's get ready. Uh, Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, Prophets Gloria Jean Kelly, can you, uh, can you make some phone calls today? Yes, I can. Okay, thank you. Why is this not doing this Okay, I'm going to have you call Earl Vinson, Paula Mingo, Angela Reese, Anthony Grant, Delicia, um, Wilanjo, and Trina Anderson. Thank you. Thank you, Doc. All right. Okay. Ooh, hold on, let's see. What's going on here? 
I don't know what this thing is. Okay. Okay, Prophet Maddie has already left to go and get on the wall. Okay, Prophet Antoinette Harris is. Probably teaching. Okay, Prophet Terry says that. Are you available? Yes, Dr. E. Bernard Jordan. All right. We have a plethora of people to give you. How's the weather there in Canada? It's been um, sunny today with a bit of cloud, Master Prophet, so I was able to go for a walk. Okay. Wow, okay. Okay, I'm going to have you call Yolanda Spaulding, Rosalind Black, Um, Gloria Fredericks, Sandra Renzendez, Nicole Williams, Kaneen Morgan, Tiffany Davis, Alkesha McCullen, Jeremiah Campbell, and John Thorpe. Thank you. All right. My computer's doing all kind of crazy stuff today. Okay. Okay, Prophet Cyrus Green, how are you doing? I am doing well, Dr. Ibnar Jordan. How are you? I'm doing great and great. Amen. Okay, I'm going to give you some people to call here. I know you're leaving at 10 o'clock, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, moderators, you're going to send Prophetess Iris to her quickly. Okay, we have um, Mertis, um, excuse me, Raylan Cunningham, Mertis Calhoun, Yashika Jones, Chanel Brockenvaro, Monique O'Loud, Leslie Harris, Mon Manolito Lathan, Clarence Cuny, Marvin James, Stephanie Ellis, and Christine Hollinger. Amen, amen. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Prophet Janice, I'm going to have you call some people here. Okay, and Dr. George, just, um, did we get number seven, Betty Jones? Um... Uh, Number seven should have gone to Terry Stensett. Betty Jones, Yolanda Spaulding. From okay. seven to 17. Okay, you have that? Yep, got it now. Thank you. Okay. Okay, uh, you stay right there, Prophet Janice. Um, Okay, let's go to little Latoya Dawkins. How are you doing, Prophet Latoya? I'm doing great and great, Dr. Bernard Jordan. God bless you. How are you doing? Bless you, bless you. I'm going to have you call Laron Griffin, Vincent Staley, Renee Simmons, Arlene Modest, Dana Doran, Ernest Sampson, Karen Thompson, Primrose McIntosh, Angelina Cortez, Deborah Jordan, and Bishop elect Joshua Jessica Jordan. Yes, yes. Thank you, Dr. Darn Jordan. God bless you. Okay, bless you.
All right. Prophetess Mary Shen, how you doing? Good evening, Dr. E. Bernard Jordan. I am doing well, and how are you, sir? I'm doing great and great. I'm going to have you call... Kimberly Lewis, Rhonda Campbell, Adrian Nunez, Jeremiah Campbell, Nicole Thompson, Arlene Levis, Wendy DeCruz, Colin Neal, Tony Marsh, and Betty Redwood Brown. Yes, sir. Received. All right. Bless you. Okay, Prophet Barbara Stenson, how are you doing? Okay, Prophet Barbara Stenson, if you're there, we don't hear you. Okay, let's go, I think. Um, Tasha Howard. Tasha Howard, are you there? The Prophet, I am here. Okay, Tasha Howard, I'm going to give you a group. Thank you. Okay, you can mute out so we don't have feedback. Okay, I'm giving you Jamal Smith, Nicole Williams, Danielle Hunter, Belinda Beach, Kathy Curry, Carolyn McClure, Macy Mills, Brenda Brannon, Tanya Abram, Catherine Calabrese, Arula Skype, Abdelal, and that is it. Barbara says she's working on her. Okay. We'll come back to you, Barbara Stinson, as you're working on your mic. Okay, Myra Turquette, you there? Okay. Okay, Prophet Myra. We don't hear you if you are speaking. Yes, sir, Dr. Jordan. Okay, bless you. Okay, we're going to have you call. Helen Graves. Quinn Ellington. Anthony Shannon. Naomi Cook. Damis Clement. Cheryl Waite, Lydia Downs Jamal, Stephanie Pickett, Krizua, Angela Reese, and Marie Butler. Thank you, Dr. Jordan. All right. Okay, Barbara Stinson, did you get your mic back up yet? Can you hear me now, Dr. E. Bernard Jordan? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Great, I'm ready. Okay, thank you. I'm going to have you call Terrence, Sam, Patricia Burns, Angela Baker, and Karen Thompson. Thank you, Dr. E. Bernard Jordan. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. And I think we got everybody, Prophetess Janice. We did get everyone so far, Dr. Jordan. All right. And we're waiting for the rest of you to come in. We're asking everyone to do the 222C today on this master number day. Oh, hold on. I'm Prophetess Barbara Stinson. I want you to do Dominisha Hurley, Barbara Forte, and Janaea Macklin. 
They just all came with the 222, 22 or more. All right. Thank you, Dr. E. Bernard Jordan. Thank you. All right. We are looking for, is it four, how many people to do the $1,000 seat now? 14 more. 14, more. Hey, 14 yeah. others. You know, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna, bye, 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 I gotta get my seat in. I am. Because I got to demonstrate that I bye, believe bye, bye, God. Bye. All right, and then we're going to begin to honor the Lord with the Teruma Seed. I want to thank those of you that have been faithful in Teruma Seed. You know, I'm keeping the covenant. Yeah. I Teruma out. I give out to others um, to see what God would begin to bring in my direction for this coming season. Tell the people, um, Prophet Joshua, how to get the seed into the ground. Yes, and yes, Dr. E. 